Most people in America are quite familiar with the political realm. Most of us all our life have been around long enough to know about elections and when they happen and generally what day they happen on, even if we don't always quite get the exact date perfectly. We know, okay, early November, at some point every four years, we're going to have elections. And then the local elections happen in different intervals around that time, and most of us don't care. But at some point, we get excited about politics when there's a new type of group in town that are making us more excited about politics or when we've had enough life experience happening to us in the world that we're really passionate about topics. And when you're passionate about topics, then you get more interested in politics. And you might go and in interview in certain places. You might go and volunteer in a political realm, or you might go stuff envelopes like I was required to do as a child around our table for my father was being some sort of a councilman or something or whatnot. And that's when we were still printing brochures. And that was the old day of printing those sort of things and those sort of leaflets and those sort of stickers that people could put on their automobiles. But today, public marketing is very different, and most of us in marketing know that postcards don't work. Postcards only work if you have a really good relationship with people, and they really have chosen you 100% to be their main squeeze, their main guy, their main girl, their main everything, their main something, or a main part of their actual educational entertainment life. For example, if I'm a Teresa Caputo fan, then I might watch her regularly on YouTube. Even though I don't have a television, I can't watch TLC, which has employed her to do her show. And openly, I don't care about every time she's out there doing somebody's hair, which I thought was sort of weird and a little debonair. But the reality is that when I'm talking about my life, you might not care. But the point of sharing stories of my life is to help you educate and highlight your life on how to make a story about your life. Because at some point, your children are going to lose you, and they're not going to know all the neat, the neat things about you.